All right, first off, I want to thank everyone who tracked me and gave me support on Facebook and everywhere. That was really nice. I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the official results and what happened and what didn't happen over the race, which I like to do when I get back and see what I can do different or better. My official time is 3.10.33. And my overall place was 2,651 of 53,513. 2401 of 30,798 in males. And 540 of 4,651 in my age group. So my overall place was 2,651. And you'll notice my gun place was 7,142, meaning I was. 7,142nd person to cross the finish line. The reason there's a difference is because, like I posted on Facebook, I'd gotten locked out of the first wave and had to run with a slower second wave, which, doing the math, means I had to run about, I'd run past about 7,000 people on the course, because there's about 14,000 people per wave. And that's what really started to slow me down. And I found this wave breakdown of the positions of the runners where you can see how many people were on the course at what point. This is from 2015, but I think the same principle holds. You notice the second wave, the front runners start hitting a lot of people around halfway point and then really gets bunched up around mile 15. And indeed, that's pretty much what I saw if you look at my split times here. So on the marathon, if you want to run under three hours, you need to run at a six minute and 52 second per mile pace or better. I was running pretty much on pace for what I was thinking I would do, certainly through the half marathon. And then you can see my times blood start heading up and up. And mile 15 was the last sub seven minute mile I ran. And then I think that mile 16, I think, was a bridge or a narrow portion and pretty congested. After that, started easing up a little bit, but it was still tough going through all those people. And then, you know, mile 20 started getting rough again. And despite that, I was still going to do okay. There are veteran New York City runners who told me going into this, you don't really want to go for time necessarily if you're just an age group or not an elite but it's more going to placement due to all the you know weather and waiting around factors and number of people and whatnot and I came into this fully expecting to get in the top 2000 which obviously I did not and I thought if I had a good race I could get top 1000 if you see uh, I'm gonna click in how many people ran under three hours Top 2,000, almost top 1,500, which I would have been pretty happy with. Even putting in a under 306 would have gotten me pretty close to the top 2,000. And I'm using that number, you'll see why here. <laughs> if you look at my splits, you'll see right around you know, mile 23, I started cramping up a little bit. Until it was just after mile 24, where oh, shit. my left hamstring just completely locked up. Normally, if Come I on. get cramps during a marathon, it'll be my calves, oh. which hurts a lot, but you can still just oh. keep running through it. But when a hamstring locks, uh, you're not going anywhere. And yeah. indeed, I had it just completely locked up at me, and I was able to hobble off to the side to at least, you know, get out of the way of other runners. But uh, it took me from my GoPro footage about four and a half minutes for that to unlock, and I was at least able to jog a little bit. Couldn't get much speed because it kept threatening to lock up on me again. But that would have saved me four and a half minutes if that hadn't happened, which would have put me at under 306, which I would have been really close to being under 2000 even after all that. And I don't want to sound too negative. I know it's something not everyone can do just 
qualify and run New York. But also at the same time, you know, I have injury history and certainly had this year. I didn't really have the base of fitness and training to run sub 250, which is what I think I can do. But also, it, you know, if you get the chance that doesn't come around often and you get pretty good weather and you're not hurt and all that, you need to take advantage in running a strong race. And when you can't do that, it's disappointing. There's, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm happy I got to go, but I, you know, I, I wish I could have done better and that's, that's how it is. I do think I got some good footage during the race and I worked together to put, you know, sights and sounds and all that this weekend. That takes a little work, but I'll get something out there. Thanks.